Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel. 10 Essential Ways for Improving Your Web Design in 2022 So make sure to watch the full video. A website truly excels when it has a design that feeds into your website's user experience, functionality, and appropriately complements your content. It can be super easy for even a professional website designer to neglect these things. Thinking these updates are the lowest thing to worry about on your totem pole of website priorities. However, a successful website has both high-performing content and an exceptional user experience that ensures your design goes above and beyond. 1. Have a plan. Now that you've acknowledged that your site likely needs some improvements, it's time to work your way backward and create a plan detailing how you'll tackle them. Start by mapping out your customer journey from the first time someone visits your website to the moment they become a customer. When doing this, think about which pages are they going to view, what content are they going to read, and what offers are they going to convert on. Understanding this will help you design a site that actually helps nurture leads through the sales funnel. I've always liked Leadfeeder's customer journey map as a great example. You don't need to make it as graphical as they did, but it gets the point across. It illustrates what users do when visiting their website and what commonalities occur between those who do and do not become customers. 2. Remove distractions and reduce friction. Certain elements on your website are going to detract from the value and message you're trying to convey. Complicated animations, content that's too long, and stocky website images are just a few examples. With an audience that only has an attention span of 8 seconds. You need to make it abundantly clear what your user will learn on the page they're viewing and your design must not detract from this. This starts with making sure you have consistent brand guidelines you can work off of. This should detail your font styles, colors, imagery, iconography, and logo usage. Without this, it's easy for brands to struggle when designing pages. You'll likely start to see arbitrary colors and varying font styles and sizes used, which in turn, can distract from your message or create visual confusion for people trying to convert. 3. Add social proof. If you shop like most people when you're on Amazon, chances are you gravitate towards products that contain mostly 4-5 to five star reviews from people who wrote out their experiences with a product. In looking at these reviews, we gain trust in the product that it will do what it promises and we need it to do, which in turn, pushes us to purchase it. The same effect is applied to your product or service and website. If users see impactful testimonials from real people, studies show your prospects are 58% more likely to buy your product. 4. Implement calls to action. Once your visitors land on your site, likely through the blog or home page, you need to guide them to places on your website that will help nurture them to conversion. People are lazy, so make this easy for them. Point them in the right direction. So they don't have to struggle to find what they are looking for. One of the best ways to improve your web design with this in mind to use strategically placed call to actions in areas such as the top right of your navigation, below sections that require action, and at the bottom of your website pages. But don't lose sight of your buyer's journey. The easy thing to do on your website is to inundate users with the most bottom of the funnel, BOFU, call to action wherever they go. But if someone is not ready to buy, then they likely will take no action at all. 5. Use the right stock images. We always recommend using original photography on your website, but if that's not an option, there are techniques you can use to help pick out the right type of stock photo. While stock photos save you the time of producing your own imagery, many websites have imagery that falls into cliché. You'll also find a lot of other websites may be showcasing the same imagery, which certainly doesn't help for your credibility. So, when choosing stock photos, try to stay away from these cheesy images. These are the photos of people high-fiving with over-exaggerated smiles, groups looking at the camera. Executives in superhero costumes, groups of suited people jumping in the air. 6. Organize navigation. When designing your website, navigation is key. It's essentially the map that displays the core places users can visit. It's how users can easily dive deeper into areas such as your services, products, blog, etc. There's nothing worse than a site with a disorganized or confusing navigation interface. Poor design practices such as overstuffing your navigation, using vague or confusing hypertext, and lack or organization can make it hard for your visitors to find where they want to go. 
7. Let your visitors scroll on your homepage. There was a time where we were wary about making our website pages too long, especially your homepage. This was out of fear of users not scrolling, so it forced folks to try and cram what they could into the most common screen size. People view their website with. But those days are long gone. In a 2018 study by the Nielsen Norman Group, 74% of the viewing time on a website page was spent in the first two screenfuls, up to 2160px horizontally. So there's no need to be afraid of creating a more robust below-the-fold experience. 8. Don't be afraid of white space. White space is an essential design element that helps you break up the page and increase readability. Also called negative space, white space refers to the areas around elements on a page that are empty and lacking content or visual items. White space also plays an important role in the design process and positioning of website elements. While more white space can dictate what sections are separate and guide the eye, less white space can dictate which elements are supposed to be related to one another due to their proximity. Vigirt has consistently done a great job with this. Their sections are always separated generously so they fit nicely within your viewport, without too much crowding from any sections above or below. 9. Mobile optimization is a must. These days, it is critical that you take the time to optimize your site for mobile. If you don't already know, 80% of internet users own a smartphone, and Google says 61% of users are unlikely to return to a mobile site they had trouble accessing. But it's more than just being responsive visually. It's a necessity to tailor your site to fit the needs and wants of your visitors. Ask yourself, why would someone access my site on mobile? What things would they look for? Does my experience currently allow them to do those things easily? 10. Make pricing easy to find. Tell me if this situation sounds familiar to you. You're currently looking for a new SaaS product online to solve an issue you're having. For this story, let's say a project management tool. You've spent the past hour vetting a couple of pieces of software, and think you've finally found one that looks promising. With that in mind, you now try to find pricing. At this point, you're likely a little frustrated. You might even be wondering if this means it's too expensive. What are they trying to hide anyway? Why bother calling and asking? So now you decide to leave the site and look at the competitors. If your site follows a similar pattern, or worse, lacks a pricing page at all, you're going to find your users following this same mindset. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.